Have you ever thought of the processes that led to the formation of the universe and the planet Earth? Earth, the planet where life exists, is the product of multiple events that happened in the universe. The vast universe contains several galaxies. But do you know how the universe was formed? There are different theories that try to explain this. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe was formed approximately 13.7 billion years ago from a cataclysmic expansion which hurled all matter and created space. As a consequence of this event, the first subatomic particles such as protons, neutrons, and electrons were formed. The eternal inflation of the universe simply states that after the Big Bang, the formation of the universe never stopped and is continuously making other universes which could be different or similar to our own in terms of physical laws. The model of an oscillating universe states that a similar contraction and return to that singularity is called the Big Crunch. During the Big Bang, most of the subatomic particles formed larger clusters of atoms. The cooling and contraction of the first gases, such as hydrogen and helium, allowed these atoms to be close enough and undergo nuclear fusion. Thus, the first stars were formed from this contraction of gases and nuclear fusion. In addition, the death of stars, especially the big ones, can produce so much energy to allow the production of heavier elements in the periodic table. The Earth also started from the collection of dust and other particles drifting in space for some time. As it grew larger, it gained mass enough to pull smaller particles into it. Traditionally, there are three spheres such as geosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. With the coming of an additional sphere, the biosphere, these spheres of the Earth's environment interact with each other and influence the way they work through time. The atmosphere is the layer of gaseous envelope that surrounds the planet on the surface and extends thinly onto space. Most of the gases are found near the surface and decrease away from the planet with increasing altitude. The biosphere includes all forms of life on Earth, including the ones found in the deepest parts of the oceans and highest parts of the atmosphere. The geosphere is the largest of the four spheres that comprises the solid portion of the Earth. It extends 6,400 kilometers from the surface down to the core. The hydrosphere is not limited to the water we see on the surface, such as oceans, rivers, lakes, and seas. It also includes groundwater and ice locked in polar regions and mountains in high altitudes. Let's all continue to protect the Earth and maintain our interactions with these spheres for a better life ahead.